yeah hi guys so welcome back to 876 barbies and i would like to thank all my new subscribers and my old subscribers for subscribing to me like you didn't have to but i'm glad you did so yeah um i'm gonna do two videos for you guys today and it's going to be a first impression video and another one so the first impression which is the first video i'll be doing or talking about so if you see me in the same clothes in two videos don't pay no mind okay but yeah the first impression video is on two items that i saw in the wholesale i was just walking up and down yesterday and i saw them in the old i said let me try and see what these are like so the two products are the city colors mattifying balm and the clean color perfect selfie base color quad so this is a mattifying um product primer and this is a contour kit so i'm going to use the two of these today and let you know how i feel i've not tried the any of them so let's see how they work together okay all right so i'm going to do a the two videos it will be two in one um i'm going to show you guys how i do my no makeup makeup so this will be the primer for that it's not what i normally use but i'm going to try it today but yeah all right so this is it it's a like a waxy balmy kind of thing and yeah later on i'll look on online and tell you what the reviews are on it but let's see in person together what's like so it's kind of waxy so i'm going to put it in my t-zone area let's see what this does today all right so the time is one number one 11 32 my time on my phone so let's see how long this lasts or how it operates throughout the day. So far, I'm not seeing it doing anything for me. It's not making my face look matte like how the vanishing cream would or the milk of magnesia. But let's see if it keeps away the oil throughout the day. Mm. All right, I think I've put on enough. And I'm only putting that in my T-zone. So, as I said, it's around 11.32. It's on my face. The other product during the other video, I'll show you how this goes. But for now, that's the primer. Let's see. All right, guys. So this is the face that I applied on that primer. So far, so good. I'm not getting any oil seepage. Um, I've been, I'm under this light, and I've been putting on this makeup and sweating a, a tad bit. Yeah, so if you if you want to know to get this no makeup makeup look, just watch the video before or after this. I don't know how, it, how I'm going to do it yet. Um, cause I have my my um series going on my my um monochrome series. Even though I missed one week, I do apologize for that. But yeah, um, this is it so far, and yeah, I'm liking it. So I'm going to do the clean color contour thing. So let's try this out together. Let's see what this can do. So I'm going to use the darker shade, not the reddish one, the kind of um what do you call it? Cool undertone one, not the warm undertone, you know. Yeah, so I'm going to take a brush, this 
angled F brush that I've had for forever. Dip it in there and let's see if we get anything from this. So let's see. I'm seeing a little, not too much. I'm seeing a tad bit of definition, but not too much. Let's see if we continue to apply. We get any definition? No, just kind of looking muddy now. All right, so let me try the other color. Try the red tone. Let's see what this gives us. And this is a tan to dark. It's supposed to be the darker one. I'm not seeing much definition with this um it's like it melts into my skin i'm seeing the the warm under undertones a little bit more sorry about that i have some in my throat i don't know what's going on but yeah i'm seeing the warm undertone a little bit more not much definition like probably my sicola cosmetics contour kit that trio um, but yeah, let's try the yellow. Let's see what this does for us or for me Put it under my eye. It's quite ashy looking It is ashy looking All right, and I'm gonna put that one under the, the eye. I'm gonna try the peach one under the other eye Oh, this one is worse I'm not seeing the peach. I'm just seeing ash. No. Alright, so let's just dab that away. Brush this away. Wait, 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 wait. Alright, so. Alright, so I'd say this is an X knee on the X knee. No, no, no. For me, at least. If you're lighter than me, you could probably use this. Because I like the undertone of this. But it's not really showing up on me. Probably it's like melting too much into my chocolate skin. But yeah. um, It's a good try of a product. The yellow doesn't look so bad under my eye. Even though it seems like I, I rub it all away. But it, it does brighten under my eye a little. The peach is too ashy for my skin tone. Um, I would actually use the yellow to brighten my eyes. But I'd have to put my foundation on top of it. Um, so yeah. This. Um, yeah, I like the yellow. But overall, x for me because you know, I really do nothing. i probably try using it for eyeshadow or something. But it's not doing much contouring for me. The As I said, the warm tone showed a little bit more than the the um, the cool tone. Guys, so as I said, the Clean Color Selfie Perfect Face Color quad is not really for me i'd probably only use the yellow because it's not really doing much the peach blends into my skin but it was quite ashy the yellow was ashy but it did brighten my skin i did, did see brightness coming from the yellow um so yeah i'm going to come back and show you guys how the the um mattifying balm pulls up so far it's not too bad it's now 12 17 so it's been over half an hour yeah i've been filming recording for over half an hour um so yeah i hope it does hold up um oh yeah the cost for it was 880 dollars and i think this was under 400 dollars cheap but this is really what i wanted to find out if it works because i just bought this to see what these things are like i've never really bought face stuff from clean colors because it's quite cheap not saying that cheap is bad but it's under quality for what i'm 
now getting used to you know but yeah um the clean color balm city color not clean color the city color collections um mattifying balm um so far not bad i'm not getting oily in my t-zone um it's good so far so let's see how it holds up later on or throughout the day so i'll be kind of vlogging like doing vlogging kind of videos throughout the day and then come back around whenever i'm close to taking this off my face to see how it holds up all right guys so see you in the next clip hi guys so i'm in bed this is my stuffed toys in is um it's 2 30 now and this is what my face is looking like. 2.30 from... What time did we film? I don't even remember. 11.30? Yeah, 11.32. So about like... 3, 4 hours. Yeah, so this is what my face is looking like. Not too bad. I haven't seen oil coming through. But it's not bad. To how much I'm sweating and shit. So yeah so far not bad not bad all right guys so this is the end of the video please uh, excuse my hair even though it probably no show but yeah I took off took off my head wrap and it's um what time is it it's 7 46 and this is how my face is looking at the end of the day not good not good at all because it says it's a mattifying balm but we see this right i did not touch up at all i just left my face for the whole day so it has been roughly eight hours yeah eight hours eight hours and ten about ten whatever minutes so eight hours and this is how my face is looking it's not bad but for something that says it's mattifying it's still having seeps my face would be a little bit worse at this time of the day if i wore makeup all day but this is not good enough to be proclaiming to be a mattifying balm i will say it's a good primer though not a mattifying balm but a good primer so this is also a mm, no for what it says it is but for a primer it's not too bad it helped my makeup stay on a little bit longer even though i don't normally have too much problem when i do my no makeup makeup but i did see a little bit of difference so i'm just going to pat my face this is how i take away oil i don't rub or apply more powder to my oily skin i pat and press to remove oil i didn't do this all day i just left my face because i was home I did a little bit of editing. I just laid around. I went on websites to look on stuff. So yeah. Right for that. Okay, so this is how my face is looking. Can't see my nose is still shiny. My cheeks aren't bad because I don't really have oily cheeks. I have an oily T-zone. So yeah, that's it for this first impression. I'm not too loving the outcome. Yes, so I was, I was really hoping that this would have worked and be good. But, you know, so yeah, this is it guys for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me some of your favorite primers down below. Especially if you live in Jamaica, some of the more accessible ones. Um, I do, however, love their um, setting spray, as I said earlier. Their setting spray 
keeps your face matte throughout the day. I don't use it daily because, you know, I don't really care if my face get oily throughout the day. But I really wanted to try this to see if it was worth it. Not really worth it. Not really worth it. Um, for a primer, as I said, it, it's good for a primer because it did help my powder to stay on a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, so it's more lovely signing out. Yeah, I'm signing out. So remember to wear the best you for the world to see. And remember to share the videos. Share it with your friends, share it with your family, share it with everybody that you can. So yeah, so everybody can know about this awesome page, this awesome girl. Yeah, anyways, yeah. Um, bye guys. <laughs> My ear is ignore how I look. I look a hot mess. Hi baby. What you want? Huh? Hmm? Hi, hey, pumpkin. Hi, cupcake. This is my cat. Her name is Cupcake. No, saw her in the last video. Isn't she cute? Yes, I'm a crazy cat lady. <laughs> Anyways, can I finish my video without you making noise? No? No? Go on. I got hair all over. Soon come, anyways. Two videos today, and in this video, I'll be showing you guys my no makeup makeup.